again all. Um, as I just mentioned in my <clears throat> previous video, um, I'm bringing back another uh, another one of my stall builds to the bench, see how far along I can get with it this time. Uh, so the one I'm going to bring back is this one. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know I started building the um, uh, Dirty Mary Crazy Larry Charger. Um, so just let me show you where I left off with that. Uh, <clears throat> if any of you have had this kit before, you know that this version of the kit, the 69, comes with the vinyl roof. But if you buy the 68 charger, um, it comes with the uh, hard top instead of the vinyl top. So that's the body that I'm actually using is the one out of the 68 charger, uh, which is this one here. So you can see no vinyl top. So this is the body I'll be using for that. So where I left off, uh, I have the chassis painted. Um, just need to do a little bit of weathering and some detail work there. And that. Uh, I have the interior base coated in flat black. Um, I think I'm going to put some embossing powder in this, do some carpeting. Um, other bits and bobs painted there the seats. Uh, the engine. Not completely finished, but well underway. I uh, don't think I'm going to bother wiring this or anything. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe, but I'm not planning on it as of right now. Uh, some other interior parts, console, door panels, all this stuff needs detailing it. It's only just base coated. Uh, these are the tires that come with the kit. Um, I think uh, uh, I think these are a bit too small, so I'm using these. These are out of the '71 Cuda kit. Uh, they're a bit bigger, so these are the ones I'm going to be going with. Um, I bought some resin uh, slotted mags. I bought those online for this. Um, a few other things, started painting the rad before I gave up. Uh, and this box here is a CB and a CB antenna uh, that was sent to me by uh, James Morris uh, quite a while back. So uh, thanks a lot for that, James. And the only other thing I have painted is the air cleaner. Uh, still needs to be decaled. But... And I have a few other things here, dechromed and, and the like. Um, so of course I have some uh, decals, some aftermarket decal decals bought to use on this. Uh, I also did a lot of looking on the internet to see exactly what color the car is. Uh, I kind of got it narrowed down a bit to the J5 Limelight for Plymouth or Dodge Y3 Citroen Yellow. And I'm not sure how good the camera is picking up these colors, but the Citroen Yellow here is definitely, or when I'm looking at the movie, this is definitely the color that it looks. So this will be the color I'll be going with for that. Um, sure, I'll find another build for this. But this is the color that I will be going for. Um, of course, if you look online, you know you could spend the rest of your days reading through things and trying to, you know, one people one person will say it's the car is this color, another person will say it's a different color. A lot of people mix their own paint. Uh, it's probably a good way to go as well, but uh, I'm going to go with the scale finishes and see how that turns out. 
So that's pretty much where I left off with that, and that's where I'll be picking it up. Uh, this does seem like a really, really nice kit. Um, if you are going to build a General Lee, I would recommend getting this kit instead of the MPC piece of garbage that they have out. Uh, this is much, much far superior kit to that. Um, so anyways guys, yeah, so that's where I left off and uh, hopefully I'll have an update video in the next uh, couple of weeks. Probably have the interior or something done by then. So uh, as always guys, thanks for watching and hope you stay tuned.